All right, all right, what is going on? Before we get started here, I'm going to do some Unlimited Mars because unfortunately it's too early in the morning to find any matches. Um, but before we get started, I want to talk about Arc System Works and how much I hate them right now. So first, let's just talk about the game that we're going to play. We're going to play some Blaze Blue here. They recently announced that they were going to release uh, Lambda 11 and Celica as characters in the arcade version. There's no confirmation about whether or not they're going to come to console. They're going to come to console, obviously. The only question now that everybody basically has is, is that are these characters just going to be regular DLC? Or are these characters going to... Are, are these characters basically the first portion of what will basically end up being like a Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma 2 Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma extend some kind of thing like that. Is it are they leading to a new version that's gonna have an expanded story and stuff like that? That's the question that remains uh, right now in regard to their effect. However, the pro the reason why I hate Arc System Please Works so right now character. is not because of that announcement. Like that an that's that announcement means nothing to me. I couldn't care less about either of those characters. Um but the thing that makes me mad is the day after, which is today, I have now learned that they released further information and they are basically saying straight up, we are removing news Lambda mode. Like everybody was wondering, okay, how is Lambda gonna play? You know, you can't really do anything with her because New has her Luna version. So what's the point of having Lambda? She's, you know, there's no point. So maybe they're going to change around her gameplay. Maybe they're, you know, maybe she's going to be different. Uh, more rushed down as opposed to new being like the, um, the zoner version. No. They're ripping Luna mode away from new. I'm assuming they'll probably expand new's regular offense in order to account for that or something. But no, they're ripping away the stance change. They have formally announced, like... But neither New nor Lambda will have stance changes. So basically, you have this character in New 13. This very unique two mode switch between them, depending on the situation. Very good character. They're stripping that away, and instead, they're basically having like a Ryu and Ken kind of a look here, which is how I kind of analyze it. Like, they're basically, they're basically Ryu and Ken now. Um, that's terrible to me. Like, you're, you're murdering this unique, interesting character. And then just, you know, splitting them into two characters, wasting a character slot, wasting design time. When it's completely unnecessary. Like, why aren't you bringing character, you know, like, Jubei is a character they've wanted, the, the Blaze Blue community has wanted for ages. And their continued excuse is, oh, he's too small. Look at Carl! Look at Platinum! They're hella fucking small! It's not like that's hard to figure out! <laughs> that's a ridiculous, irrelevant excuse. That is... The only thing that that is, is that either they are lazy as hell, and they deserve huge amounts of contempt for continuing to stand on that excuse, or they just don't want to put him in the game, in which case they need to just fucking say, we never intended Jubei to be a playable character, we don't want him to be a playable character. Sorry, y'all out of luck. But even then, Trinity, Nine, uh, Saya, like, you, you, all these interesting characters, and you pick the bland Celica? Huh? So, like, I'm just, I'm already, just from that, I'm already, like, done. I don't care. I've actually, I am formally saying right now, if they make this an extend version, and they stick with this plan, if they if they are going to do New 13, you know, they're going to basically butcher New 13 as a character and split it into a Shoto-looking situation, and they release an extend version of this game, I am not buying it. I will not support that terrible-ass design decision. Fuck that. And fuck Arc System Works for thinking that's a good idea. I, like, I'm done. Fuck that. So that is my stance on that. Like, I wasn't... See, before it's like... Okay, yeah, they're releasing Celica and they're releasing Lambda 11. I can't be, you know, 
you can't release a character that's gonna cater to everybody you can't release a character that's gonna make everybody happy so even though this announcement is irrelevant to me at least they're putting more design into the game so that's cool and then they just release that information that they're removing the uniqueness of new Mur like, it, it kill everything I was so hype about this game so excited about this game after Evo everything was just like going right you had all this outside attention coming to the game because of Evo you have all you know all eyes are on you and you use that moment to say hey we're butchering one of our most unique characters that made it to top 8 at Evo fuck that character and we're gonna make a carbon copy instead terrible terrible design decision so then you have also other DLC characters, well not other DLC characters, so I guess Sin is in the character. Guilty Gear Xard had Sin announced, it's the same thing, like I don't care about Sin. I do think it's kind of weird that like, you would think they would build the cast back up to what it was before they start introducing new characters first. And now they've done it twice, they put in Ramlethal and Sin now. Uh, you would think they would at least, you know, kind of have some focus on their, on their former fans that are looking for their character to be announced. But again, it's like it's a new character. I'm just not particularly interested in it. And at least it's in the game. It's not like a DLC character. But there is a DLC character from Persona 4 Arena Ultimax in Marie, whoever the fuck that is. Apparently she's from Persona 4 Golden. I don't know anything about her. But I just I'm so sick of DLC characters, especially from Arc System Works, because they're so overpriced. Oh damn, I thought I would tech and she would already be passed and I tried to hit 5C. That missed? This is not a good first showing for my Asriel. Oops. <laughs> oh damn, I was on a counter. Ah oh, damn, that missed. How the hell that hit? That hitbox wasn't anywhere near me. Oh god. Oh, god. Not really, since I got the punishment. How did that missile not hit me to activate Growler? Come on, son. Well, that was a that was a sad display. This is what I get. I haven't played Asriel in ages. Please select your character. That was just a terrible showing. Oh, you know what else made me sad? We never got to see Doguru's colors. Never got to see it most of the characters' colors actually, because they put it on a brand. It was a brand new setup. It wasn't, um, I mean, I guess they downloaded the patch and stuff, but the they never, they didn't, uh, it was, there was no memory on there of, um, of, of Blaze Blue, so, like, there were no colors unlocked. None of the stuff you have to unlock in the gallery was there. And so, nobody had colors. Oh my god, you stupid overheading. Oh. <laughs> What? <laughs> Oh, I didn't get... How did I not get a fireball for that? I can't believe I didn't get a fireball. I'm pretty sure I saw Growler get activated. 
Dude, I wanted to get her airborne. Oh my god, I didn't even get the 3D. Payback. Payback. I'm not playing very well, though. I mean, it stands to reason. Like, I've kind of just exclusively used Tager for the last two weeks. So, obviously, I'm going to lose a little bit of my step with Asriel. That's only... It's only logical, but still. For it to be this bad. The Wheel of Fate is turning. Rebel One, action! I need to start doing it. <laughs> That was scary. <laughs> ah, that was good. That's definitely not good. Wow, that sucks. Ah, I still didn't. I still didn't. Oh, that sucks. Oh, come on! There was supposed to be a 3C uh, in there. How did that miss? Oh my god, this dude just go away! <laughs> oh my god, I hate unlimited gin! Ugh. Oh, you know what I am happy about though? After all that anger, the hatred, I'm finally almost done with Tales of the Abyss. I feel like I've no, played this game my whole journey. life, man! Rebel There's now a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> oh, that was not a good start. What? What? I'm getting buffed right now. I'm limping Bakoda. Rebel 2, action! 
Drop that three times against her. No fucking excuse for dropping that combo. Ugh. That's the worst. That's what happens on a, like that's how you lose on unlimited Mars. Please Bad execution. Your you fuck Why something up and then you get bopped in the face with something that takes 5k damage. I hate this game mode. <laughs> All it does is make me depressed. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Action. Ah! Oops. Back to the corner with you, son. Oh, I didn't think I would hit. Oh, God. That's a bummer. Can you come and grab? You them so much meter. I get 15 meter off the grab itself. And however much I dump it. And then however much meter. Yeah, that's a worthwhile move to use. Come on. God. My fault for just standing still. Counter. Oh, I didn't think I was recovering that time. I don't know how to do air throw combos. Oh! Counter. I tried, I tried, I didn't, I did it noticeably slow though, like, he was recovered before I finished the move and he was kind of like, jerking around a little bit, I gotta do it way faster than that. Um, 
The wheel of fate is All right. She's gonna follow the pattern. Uh oh. She did the first thing right, and then didn't do the rest of it right. Oh, where was the atomic collider, son? Oh god. Oh, I don't know why I tried to grab that. Oh! Damn, I suck at combos. Damn, that did a lot of damage. Oh, that bitch. How did I not draw her in at all? Dude, seriously, like, oh, okay, never mind, magnetism wore off there. Ooh. Never seen her respond with that one before, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. Good to know, Magnetech Wheel held out. Because it does lose to some stuff, occasionally. Not often, but occasionally. Terrible back in the corner with oh shit. Damn. Oh, that was terrible. I'm still sad about how bad my ass rail is. <laughs> It's a very depressing, it's a very depressing thing. Oh, yeah. Wow, she confirmed that too. That's right, I learned from Tinku! I'm the best! I'm not the best, I let her out of the corner. Oops, we really let her out of the corner. Oh! Dude, seriously, that's the best combo ever, though. I love it until I screw it up. But for realsies, I love that combo. That's so much better. Because a lot of the times after 6C, they might be out of the range of the JC. If you do the sledge first, and you're never out of range, you can just do it. Get yeah, that, I didn't know. I didn't know. That was kind of a weird angle. Oh, come on! <laughs> I don't know why I use it. It's just a completely worthless move. Oh god, why did I jump? I think that was a pretty poor, uh, pretty poor everything, really, at the end there. Like, I did well up until, up until that spark, up to that spark bolt combo. I'm pretty sure that was good. And then, after that, I kind of just fucked everything up. The Wheel of Fate is turning. Rebel 1. Action. Oh my god. That was a terrible drop! Oh, that's not good at all. Actually, I think I, I'll be able to 720 him here. But he won't die. 
Because unlimited characters have too much damn health. What a terrible punish. Thank god that 5D killed him. That was an atrocious punish. Can't get any kind of combo after that. That's not gonna work. It didn't turn out too terribly for me, but yeah, that was Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> oh that scared me. Oh, damn, that was not safe. Was it a counter hit? I can't believe that wasn't a counter hit. I really need to get that that knowledge in my head though of when it's appropriate to um a sledge after a 2C and when it's when it'll just be it'll be a waste. God, you stupid, useless moves! Oh, that's a high thing. Oh, never mind, that's not. Actually, I did hurt. Alright, run it back. Time to run it back. Thanks for using that meter. Yeah. That was so bad of me. Why did I try to use the not invincible one? I think I'm still alive, just barely. I should be able to set it to Oh! Well, that's depressing. Rebel 2. That was all terribly scared scrambling. That's all that was. Oh my god, she almost confirmed that too. I would have been so mad. Oh, that was not we wanted. We wanted. We wanted a Tama Collider there. We did not want 60. That's a bummer. Waste of that 50 meter. Nope, that wasn't how you confirmed it. I had to look at that again. That's the combo Tiku did in the corner. He did 5C, 2D, something after that. I'll bet it does work. I'll bet five. I think five C. I think it was into five C two uh, six B. But you probably had to do it early, so they're still skidding along the ground, so their hitbox is still up a little bit, it's still raised up rather than prone on the ground. I think I just did. I think I did the five. Like I let the throw go a little bit too long, so I let them fall downwards from the bounce too much. That would be my guess if I had to. Ooh, that was all we wanted. God, it irks me so much. Like that, that has invincibility to it? Oops, that was stupid. Man. 
Those were a that those were attempted 720s. Yeah, I'm basically I'm everything that I'm doing, I've basically just stolen straight from Tiku. <laughs> Blatantly stolen. Because hey, he's a hella good player. Why not just steal everything? Uh, none of that was what we wanted. Damn. Oh. Command grab my command grab it's in. How dare she? All right, we're on a nice roll now. We're on a good roll now. Feeling good, feeling confident. Got Valkenhayn up next. I think I know how to deal with this character. And then we got Hazuma, who last time I barely managed to squeak out a bullshit win against. <laughs> I'm so scared of him. I don't want to fight him. <laughs> Yo, don't just stand there like a jackass, dude. 368. Yo, jackass! Oops. Wow! Never doing that again! Never doing that again! Never doing that again! 4565 for the last two hits! What the fuck? Thank you for finally doing it. Seventh attempt at damn charm, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, that's too good. Ooh, that was not good. Of course it crossed me up, why wouldn't it? I forgot. I forgot that if you if you don't tech that immediately, you get he will do that, and it resets the combo. I complete. I wanted to delay tech just a tiny little bit in 720, but I completely it slipped my mind that if you don't if you do delay tech, he will blow you up for it. Damn man, that hurts. I'm sad now.